All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about the five worst BMX bikes. And when I say worst, partially I mean quality, but I also mean value. Over 2022, 2021, and 2020, there were a lot of brands that really uh, jacked up their prices to take advantage of all of the people who were getting into BMX. These bikes were incredibly expensive, and sometimes they weren't um, sometimes they were good quality but way overpriced and sometimes they were bad quality and way overpriced and it's just like I want to point these out these five bikes these are the five bikes that you should stay away from unless I recommend it on the free bike recommendation sometimes because of your height or your budget or your skill level these will be the best bikes that you can get you know if it's if it's one that I recommended on the recommendation I explain why in the recommendation okay but for the most part stay away from these bikes all right um, the first bike on the list is going to be the Sunday Scout. And I know what you're thinking. Why the Sunday Scout? I thought Sunday was just a really good brand. I thought Sunday made the best BMX bikes, and they do. When you look at stuff like the Street Sweeper, really good bike. The Soundwave, incredible bike. Um, the Wavelength, the Dark Wave, these are all insanely good bikes. High quality, high price. But the Scout is one of those bikes that I think is severely overpriced. This is a almost a $500 BMX bike. And look here, okay, almost $500. And look here, okay, chromoly down tube and dropouts. So it's mostly high tensile steel with just chromoly down tube and dropouts. That means that the down tube right here is the only piece of chromoly. And actually, I think that's changed. Oh, no, 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 okay. Yeah, no, and the, the Scout was almost was $500 initially when it came out. And so this bike only has a chromoly down tube. The head tube is high tensile steel, the top tube is high tensile steel, the standover, uh, the seat tube is high tensile steel, chain stay, it's all high tensile steel, and it's $500. And I will, I will complain about this until they quit selling this bike or they mark it down to like $350. That's it, I will keep complaining. Um, it's, it's just severely overpriced, okay? It has a high tensile steel um, fork with a chromoly steer tube. It has high tensile steel bars. It's terrible, man. KMC chain, aluminum, single wall rims, weighs 26.8 pounds. They couldn't even get it under 25 pounds. So in conclusion, the Sunday Scout is one that you should avoid at all costs, unless you get it used. There have been instances on, say, the Sunday Scout review where I would, um, someone would reply, you know, because I'm like, this bike sucks, don't buy it, blah, blah, blah. Someone's like, well, I got it for $300 used. And it's like, okay, look, if you, get a, if you can get it for around 300, 350 bikes, it's a fine bike. But when I say this is a ripoff, it's because of this insanely high price tag, man. Sunday is way overcharging for the Scout. And let me, let me show you why, okay? Because, you know, that doesn't... If I, I can say that, but look, $500 for the Sunday Scout, $500 for the Kink Whip, okay? The Kink Whip knocked $50 off of this to get it back at $500, probably because I was complaining about it in the review. But for $500, the Kink Whip comes with full chromoly frame, full chromoly forks, full chromoly bars, double wall rims. It's just like 10 times better quality for the exact same price. And that's why it's a ripoff. There, there are a number of bikes for this price tag that the Sunday Scout comes at that are way better quality. And so for that reason, Sunday Scout, terrible, stay away from it. Number two on the list is gonna be the Fit Street for a very similar reason. The Fit Street initially is $580. Fit has done a lot to move these bikes. And again, this is because I don't know this for sure, okay? So this is a little bit of ignorance. I don't know this for sure, but I would say this is because Fit had these bikes come out, all of Fit's bikes came out at a high price tag um, when most bikes were hard to find. And so they jacked up the prices, people were still buying it, and now less people are buying bikes. You guys are here, you already have a bike, you're not looking for a new bike, but if you were, you would see this for $580, and that is a huge ripoff. Even at $450, I'm gonna say that this is a ripoff because the frame is a tri-molly frame. So it's got a little, even this would be better quality than the Sunday Scout, just saying, but it's still not good, okay? Chromoly front triangle, high tensile steel forks, high tensile steel bars, and single wall rims. 
So again, it's almost $500 and it's got bare bones quality. The only good thing about this bike is the fact that it comes with four pegs. It doesn't come with any hub guards, but it does have a free coaster option. This is not the free coaster option. The free coaster option is a little bit more expensive, um, but you can get something that's street specific. Um, you, yeah, so you can get the Fit Street and it's something that's street specific, but it comes at a high price tag and there are better options for the same price. Like for example, if we go back to the Kink Whip, one more time, $500, so $50 more than the Fit Street. It doesn't have any pegs, but you get really good base quality. Full Kamali frame, forks, bars, double wall rims, and then you can buy, check this out, check it out here, pegs. You can buy, let's, let's find some cheap pegs, okay? Just to make a point. Look at that, $9.99. You can buy some LL Cool pegs. These are plastic sleeve, plastic sleeve pegs. The pegs that come on the Fit Street are, are steel. Personally, I think plastic sleeves are better, but that's a preference. For 40 extra dollars, so you can spend $50, get a full Kamali frame, forks, bars, double wall rims, spend $40 and get four pegs and have a street specific kink whip that's way better than this bike. Uh, yeah, so this bike is overpriced. Again, like I said about the Scout, if you can get it at this price, it would be worth considering, but again, there's better options for this price. If you can find it used for under $400, that's a pretty good deal. Or if you can find it new for under $400, that's a pretty good deal. But at this price tag, too, too overpriced too overpriced. Number three, you wouldn't be expecting this because this is actually a high quality BMX bike, but it's overpriced for what you get. It's the Sabrosa Simo 10 year Novus. So this is their 10 year anniversary Sabrosa Novus. And honestly, I like a few of Sabrosa's bikes. I think they're good quality and good price, but this is one of the bikes that I was like, Hey guys, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Ignore this price and look at this. 1000 $199. It's on sale because I, I suspect nobody bought this bike. I wonder why. $1,199, man. That's insane, but it's good quality. Like, I'm not going to lie, this is pretty good quality. It's got a full Kamali frame with a butted top tube and down tube. It's got aftermarket Sabrosa Simo forks. It has 100% um, full Kamali frame and then some aftermarket parts like the stem, the pedals the hubs and the rims. It does have really good quality rims and I'm pretty happy about that. But again, $1,199, that's a crazy price tag. For this price, I would consider it. I would say, hey, this is okay at this price, but for the initial MSRP that they tried to scam you guys at, no good. It weighs 25.9 pounds. And let me explain why this is a bad deal. Because when we look at the specs here, we're like, hey, you know, that's pretty good quality. I would consider that a high level quality bike. I wouldn't consider it a pro level bike. I'd consider it high level, okay? And the reason for that is let's take a look at, we'll say, we'll just say the, the Kink Williams is cheaper than the MSRP. And let's look at the quality. $900, wow, the Kink Williams came down a hundred bucks. They went back to their 2022 pricing on their 2023 bikes, and that is good. Good for kink, I'm very happy. Um, so full Kamali frame, same as the Sabrosa Simo. Aftermarket Kamali forks, aftermarket Kamali bars. The Sabrosa Simo didn't have aftermarket Kamali bars. Aftermarket stem, aftermarket rims, tires. So anyway, the biggest difference here is the forks and the bars on, um, or the bars on this are aftermarket. It also comes with four pegs, four hub guards, a sprocket with a bash guard for $300 less than the, the Sabrosa Simo. I would also say look at the Soundwave because this is $100 more than the MSRP of the Sabrosa Simo. So if you were looking at the Sabrosa Simo and you bought the Sabrosa Simo, you kind of got ripped off because you could have spent a hundred more dollars and got this bike with an aftermarket frame lifetime warranty, aftermarket forks, lifetime warranty, aftermarket bars, lifetime warranty, 23.4 pounds, um, you, you could have got a much better bike. And so because of that, the Sabrosa Simo, whoops, the Sabrosa Simo severely overpriced the MSRP. If you can find it for the sale price or even cheaper used, it's worth getting, 
but it's not that good of a bike and it's pretty overpriced. So I, I'm very disappointed about that and I hate to put this one on the list, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Now, here we go. Number four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, number four on the list is the Hoffman Psycho. Oh, not to throw Matt Hoffman under the bus. Matt Hoffman is a legend, but these complete bikes are not legendary. They're not. So again, if we ignore this, this sale price is because nobody is gonna pay $600 for this bike. That's absolutely insane. Um, for $400, this is an okay deal. I'll say it's an okay deal. For $600, it's like the Stranger Stranger put out bikes that were way overpriced, nobody bought them. They came down like 50% just to sell them. Um, anyway, this Hoffman bike, $400, a tri-molly frame. Oh, wait, 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 ignore this and look at this one. $600, tri-molly frame, uh, chromoly forks, chromoly bars, and I think we had single wall rims. So again, for $600, you get this bike with dinky front brakes. These aren't the good brakes on the on the mounts that you would find um, on something like the Colony Apprentice or if you bought your own aftermarket market forks and put front brakes on. These are dinky front brakes that you would find on a Walmart bike. But anyway, it's uh, this bike is just overpriced, man. It's not very good quality and it came out at $600. That that blows my mind. And the only reason to book the only reason to buy this would be as a collector's item. Um, I, I think potentially 10 years, 20 years from now, it could be worth something. Like people might be like, wow, I love Matt Hoffman. He's a legend. This is the Hoffman Psycho. But I think they had a Condor. Yeah, they have the Condor bikes, which would be more of like his signature thing. I don't know. It, it, it's all subjective, but let me explain why this $600 price tag is a complete ripoff. We'll take a look at the Kink Switch. Same price, okay? Full Kermali frame, full Kermali forks with a one-piece steer tube, full Kermali bars, four-piece bars, comes with pegs, no hub guards, um, double wall rims. It's much better quality, insanely better quality, four times the quality for the same price. What do you think about that? It's crazy. So anyway, the Hoffman Psycho is one that came out. They re played really big on the Matt Hoffman name. Um, for those riders who were getting back into the sport in 2020 and 2021, who knew about Matt Hoffman and but didn't necessarily know as much about um, complete bikes and qualities and things like that. And they put it at a high price tag and took advantage of people. Not good. Okay, number five on the list, rounding it out here because this bike is also overpriced. It is a Garrett Reynolds Fiend Type O minus. So they have type, type R, type A, type B. They skip C, D, E, F, G all the way to O. And then minus is a little bit lower quality version. So here's the deal. This bike is $449. Almost kink whip price. You guys remember I talked about kink whip already. This bike is almost the same price as a kink whip BMX bike, 450 bucks. Has a high tensile steel frame with a chromoly down tube. Just like the Sunday Scout, this piece of tubing is chromoly. While the head tube, the top tube, the seat tube, the chain stay um, is all high tensile steel. So it's not gonna last very good. Things are gonna bend things are gonna break, it's just no good, all right? And that's a high price for that. Forks, O minus, high tensile steel forks, high tensile steel bars, Mission 410, weak chain, unsealed front hub, semi-sealed cassette. The cassette isn't even sealed, guys. Oh my God. Single wall rims, Innova tires. Oh. Anyway, in conclusion, this bike is is like a $300 bike, if that. Kink, it's like kink curb quality. And <laughs> kink curbs right now is $249. Menards apparently had a kink curb sale. They sold a ton of kink curbs for 99 bucks. One guy bought all of them and now he's trying to sell them more, <laughs> which is funny. Um, look, fully high tensile steel, high tensile steel, high tensile steel, single wall rims, uh, kink Mission 410 chain, Mission Tracker tires. So anyway, same price or same quality here. The kink curb is the same quality for $200 cheaper. And if you're looking at the Fiend Type O minus, you could spend $50 more and get the kink whip. You could get the Fly Proton. There are so many better options for the same price. 
Um, yeah, I would say the Fly Proton is very close to that 400 and I think it's 489, much better quality than the Type O minus. And so the O minus is one of those bikes Look, don't buy it, okay? Buy something cheaper that's gonna be the same quality or buy something more expensive that's gonna be much, 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 much better quality. Stay away from this bike at all costs. So those are the five absolute worst BMX bikes in 2023. You should stay away from these bikes and, uh, and, and don't buy them. But I also made a video about the top seven best BMX bikes and I'll link that in the description. You guys definitely wanna check that video out next.